What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Grayman Operations. Today we're going to be talking about the Emerson development paddle shifters for the Surefire X300. Very rarely does a product come along that so dramatically improves an already awesome product. Before we get into the fineness on this, I'm going to give away some gear to my patrons. Now I'm going to switch the view. The first giveaway is going to be for a custom SA laser engraving pistol job. So optic cut, cedar coat, uh, trigger guard undercut, um, stippling, all those fancy things. That is going to be the first giveaway. So I'm going to give away the option for you to send your pistol to them and have them do that for you. The second giveaway is going to be for an Urban Warrior compact ready pack. And the Eagle Eye amongst you might notice this one is in um, gunmetal grey. So there are very limited numbers of the gunmetal grey. The other two colours are desert brown and OD green. As well as a Snake Stop Systems EDC tourniquet. So this is also available. This gunmetal grey is also available from the guys at Snake Stop Systems who bring it in here in South Africa. So that's going to be the second giveaway. Um, if you want to become a patron, I'm going to be giving away gear to my patrons every single week this month. And then I think I'm going to give away another red dot. If you want to become a patron, it's the first link in the video description if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook or Instagram, it is the first comment and it costs you about the same as a few beers. And you can win gear to the value of thousands and thousands of rand every single week and month. Okay guys, so those of you who follow my channel will be familiar with this already. I'm going to copy the names of my patrons. There should be 117 of you, so we'll just confirm that year as well. So I'm going to copy these names and then paste it into a name randomizer, which is going to randomize the order of the names. So we'll paste it in there and we will randomize. And as you can see, there's 117 entries. Then I'm going to copy numbers 1 to 117 and paste that into our random wheel of names. Now we're going to have two draws today. The first draw is going to be for that SA laser engraving custom pistol job. And the second draw is going to be for the Urban Warrior Compact Ready Pack and Snake Stop Systems Tourniquet. So let's do the first draw. So the win is number 57. And on our name randomizer, number 57 is Mike Hancock. So let's go back to the random wheel of names and do the second draw for the Snake Stuff Systems Tourniquet and the Compact Ready Pack from Urban Warrior. Okay, number 77. So number 77 is going to be Sheldon McDooling. So well done to you, Sheldon. Well done to you, Mike. You guys are our two winners. I will make contact with you and get those prizes sorted out for you. Mike, you're going to have to uh, make contact with SA Laser Engraving, but I'll, I'll handle all the details for you with regards to that. So well done to you guys. Let's flip the view and continue with the video. Next week, more prizes to patrons. So guys, those of you who watched my video where I compared the Streamlight TLR1HL to the Surefire X300, one of the big victories for the Streamlight was the switches. If you take a look at the size of an X300 toggle, it's tiny. Once you put the emissary development switch on there, it's a complete game changer. Now, first and foremostly, guys, these are sold as singles and they should be sold as singles. You can't put two of these clips, excuse me, two of these paddles on one X300. So when you do buy them, Make sure you purchase them for the right orientation. It'll say on the actual packaging, hoping you can say it, right-handed. So if you are a right-handed shooter, the paddle will be for the left-hand side of your X300, your support hand thumb. Now what's really cool is with the X300, because the switches are so stiff, when you, when you would try to function them with your, with your dominant hand, let's say your support hand's out of the fight, and you want to switch it on. It's easy enough, but when you switch it off, it used to do something like this. Imagine this is the X300. 
So you'd switch it on, but because the switch is so tight, when you when you switch it off, you would over toggle it and basically switch it on again. This prevents that from happening because if you put it on with your trigger finger or your dominant hand, the emissary development paddle shifter goes down. And when you try to put it off, this piece here impacts the frame. So you can't over press it. You can no longer press the right hand side toggle downwards. And that's why you can't get two because if you had two, you wouldn't be able to switch the right hand side toggle upwards. This only goes as far as there. It can't go higher. So it's basically one toggle for one light. Now your control of the light is massively improved. If you look at these shots, I'm not using momentary on. I'm literally switching the light off between target transitions and between um, doing my reloads when I do my one reload ones. And it's, it's infinitely easier with the emissary development paddle shifters. I also find that the paddle shifter itself provides a very ergonomic ledge upon which to rest your thumb. I know a lot of guys actually stipple a ledge into this part of their Glock. So if you want to rest your thumb on there and when activating the light, it's a very ergonomic natural movement because the, sh the, the actual ledge of the shifter sits so high up, you don't have to break or adjust your grip at all to switch the light on and off. You no longer need to break and do break your grip and, and sort of roll your hand. The way the ledge is designed and where it sits, you can comfortably do this with your support and thumb whilst maintaining a perfect firing grip with both ends. What's in the box? Instruction card, vital tools needed to install the emissary development paddle shifter and your emissary development paddle shifter. Guys, the instruction card, it's got a QR code. Make sure you scan and follow the instructions. I can't show you on video, YouTube doesn't allow for that. So anything that's got to do with building, modifying or anything like that to a pistol, YouTube doesn't allow that. So I can't show it to you on YouTube. I also got, I don't know if you guys can see, there is the tiniest little hole just there. And inside your toolkit, you get the tiniest little Allen wrench. Inside that hole is like a grab screw. And once you've got your paddle seated down correctly, gosh, I can't even get this open. You take that Allen wrench, you put it inside that hole and you tighten the grab screw down i think it's like one turn past flush and that locks everything in place they do also recommend you super glue it down i'm going to do that after this video because i'm still thinking about whether or not i'm going to create a patreon video on how to install it but it's very important when you do to, to install this watch the instructions on the instruction card because you can mess it up and you don't want to mess up your really expensive Surefire X3. Now, very importantly, guys, holster-wise, this is the Southwest Holsters Mamba. It's outside the waistband option. This is a Rattler for the X300, also from Southwest Holsters. This is the Bravo Concealment X300 holster. This is my custom Rattler holster from Southwest Holsters with the open front. It fits every holster I own for the X300, so I don't think you're going to have a problem. The ledge itself basically lines up with this little uh, this little piece over here on the extra end, which is like your tear down you push this down to pull the light off so it doesn't make the firearm isn't or the light itself isn't wider it's still the same width so I, i'm confident to say that any holster that would have fit a a x300 would more than likely still fit the x300 and i with the paddle shift and I and I do think they have like a, a chart on their website that tells you whether or not it'll fit. Guys I'll be honest the emissary paddle shift dramatically improves the X300 and it really pushes it into probably being once again the daddy of all weapon mounted lights. Uh, the only downfall for me with the X300 were those tiny little toggle switches that were stiff and this emissary development paddles makes a huge difference to the way you function and the way you can function this light in terms of light on light off, those of you who have done no low no light courses know the value of being able to control when your light is on or off. I don't I I completely negate the the 
momentary on an extra hundred because I don't like it. But with this, you have so much control that you can get that momentary on. It's just exceptional. These are available in South Africa from the guys at SA Tactical Institute. If you are a patron and you do have an X300, comment down below either on the Patreon video, which would have been out already by the time you guys on YouTube watch this, or on this YouTube video. Because I want to hook you up. I want, if, if there's like a, enough or if there's not too much, I'm going to try to hook all of you up with one of these. It's just, I, I want the people who support me on Patreon to be running the best gear. If there's a lot of you are running it, then I might do, a, do it like a giveaway. But um, if it's a few, then I'll try to hook you guys up with these clip, with these paddle shifters because I believe they do provide a significant um, advantage. And I want my patrons who support me to be running the best gear they can possibly be running. Guys, don't forget, these are in super limited numbers. They're on my website, www.graymanoperations.com. They are also on the website of the guys who bring in the Snake Star Systems tourniquets. If you want to see what this pouch is about, if you're watching on YouTube, the video is popping up on the screen right now. Well done to the winners. I'll give away another one of these and all this cool stuff again next week to my patrons. So if you want that cool gear, jump on that train. Huge thanks to Red One for hooking me up with this. I think it's a dramatic improvement over the original uh, and it definitely brings my love for the Surefire even more. That is it, guys. Have a good week. I'll see you soon for another review. Be safe. Chain out. Cheers. God bless.